Hey Harmonizers, welcome to the cutest little horse that has come in for training. This is Honey and this is her first ever training session with us and uh, kind of funny story on this horse on her on her boarding um on her training contract it says that she's a quarter horse pony but I think she looks more like a, a Welsh halflinger cross. You guys let me know in the, the comments what you think she looks like. Uh, I apologize that the footage here is not the super best. As you can see, Franny is sitting on Cookie while filming. And Cookie does not always stand perfectly still for filming. Um, but this, uh, this little girl, she came in for training. Apparently, she's eight years old and I guess was a broodmare before um, and was just kind of in a field with a stallion apparently for, for breeding. And um, so I guess for the first seven years of her life, she didn't really do a whole lot other than have some babies. And so now she's owned by a different person who would like her to be a kid safe pony. And when I asked them about, you know, what have you done with her? They said they did a tiny bit of groundwork. They had done some tarp work with her before, but they weren't able to get her to lunge. And they sat on her and a couple of people actually fell off of her. And not, um, they said that she didn't like buck them off, but I guess she would kind of drop her head and kind of drop her shoulder and kind of get them to fall off that way. But uh, I believe not really like doing anything, just kind of riding at the walk even. Um, sounded like she didn't do like trot or canter, like hadn't really been trained on any skills per se. So the fact that she's okay with the tarp and whatnot could probably just be because um, they had done some of that stuff already. And she seems a little bit looky, a little bit unsure. Like there you can see she really twitched when I put the stuffed toy on her back. So she can be a little bit jumpy in that sense. But my overall impression of her doing this first training session is that she's very good natured, like she doesn't try to be pushy or anything like that. She's actually done a really good job of being pretty smart and kind of quick to learn. And uh, especially there's distractions going on with other horses in the ring and stuff like that. Um, you can see Sugar's in the background there. Sugar's on the cross ties waiting to go back out. She's... Uh, dancing around and then there's cookie over here and so I trot her with the stuffed toy and I trot her with the little tarp she doesn't seem to be bothered by that at all which is really great and overall doing a, a really good job in this first session so we're just doing little tiny bits before we filmed this I had done a little bit of lunging work with her to kind of establish what that circle meant so I had no trouble getting her to go out and do walk trot on the the circle there so she did that really really well and then here's a little look at her with the sir single for the first time and doing a couple little jumps so before we introduce the saddle we often do some girth training with a sir single like this so that way they have something going around their belly and she did not care in the slightest about having it around her belly we tightened it up no problems you see she's a little jumpy like there when she takes the cookie she's like and snatch the cookie and and get back she kind of jumped back there for a second and she can definitely be a bit pulley on the rope and so you're going to see that in a second here like she's very very insistent there that she was going to go to the left and so for any really holds on and and then she gets polite with the stick to ask her to go the other way so it's not that she was trying to hit her uh, or do anything really big but when a horse goes to try to pull off on you it's really bad if they learn that they can pull away from you so the fact that for any kind of hunkered down and held that rope is just to make sure that the pony didn't learn that she could run away with with her that she had to uh, stick with the program and then you can see franny is being pretty polite with that stick there you know she's using it as rhythm but this little pony seems to be a little bit uh, flighty with that so we're just trying to build up her confidence with that and uh, not be you know aggressive or anything like that with her so here's a little look at a cute little jump we're going to slow that down check out these cute little knees as she jumps she really squares up her knees really nice cute little form as she goes over so I think she's going to be a super cute little jumper once she's done her uh, training here 
And even though she can be a little bit flighty and kind of jumpy, one of the things we know about horses is that you want to kind of keep their world big and their world exposed because if, um, you know, you'd never pick up a, a stick or twirl something at them or whatever, you know, you don't want to get mean and really hit them or anything like that and cause them to be super reactive. But you also don't want to not upset them and have nothing around because then if something accidentally jumps up and upsets them, then it's going to cause a problem later on that they're going to be really jumpy. So it's kind of a fine balance for sure. And here what I'm doing is her first ever long lining session. So I'm trying to get her to figure out where to go. And she actually picked this up pretty quickly because some horses, when they do their first long lining session, they really struggle with this kind of stuff. And she figured out pretty quickly how to just walk along with me behind her. She actually tried to do some trotting and whatnot there. I'm not actually asking her to trot there. She's just kind of thinking that she should go trotting around the ring. So we're just walking around and figured that out really, really well. And she even walked nice and close to the rail there. Here you can see she started to think she was going to go trotting again. So I think she's going to be pretty easy to get going. She's definitely a little bit more on the worried side in terms of, um, you know, please don't hurt me. I'd rather just go. So I think she's going to be easy to get going, which will be good for being a future kids horse because she'll probably um, not be too difficult for them to get moving, which can sometimes be um, an issue. And even though she's a little bit worried and that's why she's kind of rushing off a little bit here, she's not doing anything horrible. She's not pulling through my hand. And when she hits my hand, she, she does come off of that and respect that. So I think she has a good future ahead all of the little tests that we do here's a little look at stopping for the first time with the long line so you can see she got confused she hit the wall she wasn't really sure what she was supposed to do when I say wall I mean the the wall of my hand and then here I'm coming forward to give her a little a little scratch she's a little bit unsure about what I'm doing there so I'm just going to come up and reassure her that everything's okay give her a nice little scratchy scratch there sometimes I give her a cookie sometimes just uh, give her kind of a little reassuring pet and scratch and let her know that it's okay that I'm not, even though I'm following behind her, that there's nothing to be worried about there, that she can uh, be okay with that. So then we go off walking again. And every time that I stopped her and kind of gave her a nice little rub and reassured her, she got more and more relaxed with walking and not feeling the need to be trotting off. So then here's a little look at Franny doing long lining with her. So I like to get the horses kind of started with everything. And then because Franny and Allie are the ones that are doing all of the actual riding stuff, it's important for them to get comfortable with the horse as well and for the horse to develop a little bit of a understanding for them, get to know them a little bit. And so that's safest and best done on the ground. So we're doing that and uh, going to let her steer and take her around. So here she's going for a little little trot and doing some steering, doing some stopping. She's going to do a little bit of approaching her and rubbing her bum and stuff too. And I love doing long lining because it really teaches the horses what all that steering stuff is before you get on their backs. So you're just not overwhelming them. You're not over facing them with all sorts of different things all at the same time. So here when Franny went up to give her a reward, you can see she thought about running off. But as soon as she hit Franny's hand there, you know, it didn't take much to get her stopped again, but that's just kind of a little sign of her being unsure about being approached from behind. So definitely working on that a whole lot, which really helps with the riding piece too, because when you're riding them, you're on their back. And uh, so that makes a, a big difference for sure. Here is a little look at her out in the paddock. So she is the boss out in the paddock. So she's out with um, Sugar and Bunny and Dare. You see she just turns her butt. And the other ones are like, okay, okay, we got it. You're you're the boss. So she is a bossy beans out in the field. Um, but that's okay. And then here's a, a different session where we're working on the saddle stuff. And she was great. She didn't care at all about the saddle. She was great about the cinch being done up or the girth whatever it's a cinch when you're western it's a girth when you're english so she did really really well with that and there's our cat in the arena 
and did really well with the distraction there. So the, the lunging's coming along for sure, doing the little jump with the Western saddle on. Now she is super wide, like this horse is so wide, it's like a flat back. You could eat dinner off of her back, it would be fine. So I'm super glad that we have treeless saddles because there's no way a treed saddle would fit her, not like a standard one anyways. And here's a little look at our stuffy test getting started with doing our stuffy toy shenanigans. So we have one of the treeless saddles on her. We actually swap it out for another one later on too. But if, if we had a treed saddle, that would be very hard on her back because she's just so, so wide. So here Franny is putting one of the stuffies on. We're going to do some stuffy work with her and just getting through all of our bases, especially because we know that she's had people fall off of her in the past. We want to make sure we don't skip any steps and that we really try to teach her all of the things she needs to know for a human being on her back and that she'll uh, be okay with all that sort of stuff. So here is the trio of the stuffed toys. Mr. Teddy Bear has a really good seat there and she was a total rock star. Okay. So this was I think I the actually first noticed time being yeah. asked to go out on a circle with all the stuffies <laughs> on her back. She's actually sitting and up she right. just walks along. Like I was expecting some type of reaction just because of her yeah. history and oh yeah you know, I feel really like if you lean on that it's gonna like stuff. break my maybe, saddle you know I think we're gonna have to go get the other crappier treeless saddle. I guess she knows the difference between stuffies and a human or just the fact that she's learned so much more now she knows how to lunge she knows Whoa. how um we, we've also done other groundwork stuff with her like all of her eight ABCs oh God, and all that kind of so stuff cute. but she's okay, totally take fine with Mr. Trot. Teddy and the stuffies on her. So we ask her to do a little bit of a, a trot there. And she doesn't care about them bouncing around on her. She's doing really, really well. So all of these things just <laughs> to make it for a much Good girl. All right, do a little change of direction. She's doing great. More successful experience for when we do have the first Like as spooky as she is, sure she's actually she's really good. Confident. And you can see she knows, like, okay, I do something, I get a cookie. Which all just helps and then just do a little one to the other way as well. Association with training, so it's all about creating that yes horse where we want Honey to be able to say, yeah, sure, I don't mind trying stuffing on my back. Yeah, sure, I don't mind trying. <laughs> Teddy this. just fell forward she knows on her. That it's a good deal. And she didn't actually she, care, so that's good. And she tries. It's kind of a mix of we have boundaries, but we also have lots of rewards as well. <laughs> so she's just going around with. All of those stuffies on her back, we do both directions so she sees things out of both eyes. It's going really, really nicely there. Okay. For anybody who wants to learn more about creating a yes horse, totally recommend checking out good. our mini course on our academy. If you go to harmonyhorsemanshipacademy.org, you can check out the mini course, the Create a Yes mini course. It's a $10 course, and we also have a free video series up there as well. But uh, here's also a look at her first uh, canter on the lunge as well. So we're slowly adding in bits. You can see she's just so wide and so flat in her back. Uh, definitely, you know, overweight and a little bit on the chonky side. But probably like the cutest little thing that's ever come in for training before. She is just too cute. You guys can let me know, though, what you think about her. And do you agree? Is she the cutest horse that we've had? come in for training and if not who do you think instead